if you go to the customer, they say, okay, please install one of these patch panels, as you can see here, dual port. I'm going to show you step by step. So this is not the ideal scenario, as you can see, uh, but this is what they, they have. They don't have a rack, but if that is the case and you don't know how to do it, I'm going to teach you a step by step in this case. Uh, for instance, as you can see, we have the all the uh, uh, network, yeah, all the network, uh, all the equipment on the on the wall on this plywood, as you can see. Some of them, the PBX, the Panasonic, they have it in another board. Some of customers they have like a huge thing, huge board for everything. I prefer maybe like a board and then put the rack and put everything in one place. So instead of having it like that, it will look much better. But this is what they they wanted to do. So I did what they they they, they want. Um, this is the patch panel. I want to teach you step by step how to terminate it and how to do the show. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to move these cables that you see here. We're going to move it a little bit here. So the way we have more space to install the patch panel that you see here. So this is how it comes. It comes in this little box, as you can see. They're about $40 each one. It comes with the screws, as you can see. And it comes with a, a little menu. So we're going to take it out of the box, let me know the bag. And as you can see, here we have a place to put the screws here, a place there. And this should go kind of like that. So it's going to be a little bit tight, but yeah, we can do that. Also, we're going to terminate the cables here before doing anything. And it should look something like the other one. So the best case will be to have a rack, but they don't have anything here. So this is what we are going to do. Uh, here we have the cables that they want us to start working on that. So here on the other side, we have uh, two norms. We have norm BE and A. So depending on the colors, and then depending on the norm is the color that we have to use. And that is how it's going to be. So we have to push this out to be able to remove it, as you can see here. And this is out. So now we can start punching the, the cables here and in a little bit everything should be done. As you can see, I just finished installing this. So what we have to do is just to put it like this, like that, and uh, that's it. So if you have to do some maintenance, you pull this to one side and you, you remove it like that. So now we're going to terminate the cables here. Okay, we have all the, uh, the cables that were connected over there to this switch that we, uh, we see over there. And what we are going to do in this case is we are going to uh, see the color, the pattern, so that way you can tell if you're going to no use norm A or B. So in this case, the norm B is the one on the top. That is what most people use. And once uh, you figure out that, that out, you will do you you will follow the, that so basically what we are going to do here we are going to cut the the cables here i'm going to clip them the, the ends and we're going to terminate them here after that we're going to put this back here and everything should look great and it should look kind of like the other one and here we have the patch um, the patch course that the customer gave us so that is how we're going to do the shop and everything should look more decent 
if this is not the best scenario, the best scenario would be to have a nice rack, but this is what they have, that is what they hire me for, and this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so if you don't have the, the little tool that goes uh, uh, around the cable like that and you can strip it, uh, you can use a scissor like you see over here in this case. Always pay attention to the uh, number. So in this case we have 13 here, it says 13, and the other ones it says the same thing twice. So that, that way we know uh, each cable and later we can label the, the cable just, just in case to identify it later. So what we can do is just put the the, the peak of the scissor as you can see and then we pull this out a little bit. And that should be enough. In case if you damage the cable because you're using a the scissor, what you can do is verify that any that all the cables are good, and if something is bad, you can clip it, and you can pull these cables apart so that way you have more more cables to uh, terminate on the patch panel. So basically, we are ready to go now. Okay, this is what we are going to do. So we are going to terminate just, just terminate one. As you can see, the number one, here we have number one, number two, number three, number four, five, and six. So each one of them are going to be separated by this small gap that you see here. The same thing here, so that way is how you can identify each one of those uh, ports. So now we are going to work in the number two. So we're going to do this, uh, pay attention to the colors. So we're going to use norm B, like I said before. Uh, we, we we have to follow this uh, pad pattern. So when we strip the, the cable already, we're going to separate the colors, as you can see here. Um, with the finger, you can straight them up like that. With the finger, you press them, and they will be straight. So now we have to find which one is the first one. The first one it will be the blue one, the light blue, blue light a, a orange orange light green green light brown brown so we're going to do the same thing but here in this side so the first one will be the light blue And then once you have it here, you push them down. And then we do the same thing with the next one, will be the orange one. So here we have the orange. Light orange first. And 
There we go. Light. Green. The green. And then now we have to do the same thing with the brown. Light brown. And then we have the brown one. So once you have done that, we can push each one of them. And that will keep the the rest, as you can see here. I'm going to show you another another angle. You see, all the cables are being cut. Make, make sure to use the the blade that you see here, because it has two ends. This there is two. There's no no sharp sharpness at all, and the other one has the sharp the blade. So you have to use this one against this, and we, when it goes against this plastic, it will cut. There we go. All looks perfect. Later on, we can clean up all the mess. And we can put the cables, as you can see, here. And with the um, zip ties that came with this unit, we can run the zip tie like, like that. And then we can close it and grab all the the cores, all the Ethernet core. We can do maybe half here and the other half the other way. It is up to you. So now I'm going to keep going with the other two cables that I have remaining. And when I finish, I'll show you what is next. As you can see, I just finished the job. Everything looks great. Put the zip tight. Now we have the adapter here. All we have to do is just put it back. Okay, so now we put it here, as you can see. All, all the way and everything lo it should be fine so here has, we still see the numbers of each cable so that is fine otherwise I have a label maker uh, here I'm going to ask the customer if they want a label or, or with this number which is fine for, for them it is up to them if it was for me I put label in everything I mean I, I would put everything in a rack but like I said before that is, they, they want me to do this and that's it. They don't want me to put everything in a rack like it should. But that is how you do the shop. So everything looks uh, nice and clean. As you can see here on this side, they don't have any label, they don't have anything. This is kind of disaster, but this is uh, how you you do the shop in case if someone are you to do these type of things also like I said before I mean we could arrange manage the cables later put them in the zip tight or whatever the customer wants otherwise if it, this was my location I will remove everything that you see here and I, I put it in a rack like it should okay as you can see the customer t told me to use the wires to use them to make it look a little bit nicer to me it's not the ideal solution to me like I said before the network will be I mean the network rack will be the best solution to make it look neat but uh, that's it so hopefully you like this uh, class and if you want to see and um, buy my other classes you can go to my website thebacusa.com and see you next time